아, 네, 시작하겠습니다. 문 닫아. 어, good morning. I'm g o n b y o n g i 네. Thank you for joining me today to discuss the paper Universal Fusion Learning of Dance Prediction Test with Visual Token Matching. which will be presented at ICLR 2023. The paper was selected as oral presentation and received one of the highest review score, 12 of 10 and one of eight. In this talk, I will introduce the background of fusion learning and novel fusion test, which was proposed in this paper. and I present the method and experimental results. What is fusion learning? The following sentence give a good explanation about the fusion learning. Given only a number of examples, each new class, a model must be generalized to new class not seen in the training set. We want a model achieve good performance on training data set and also on seen test to data set as well. To further understanding how about the vision learning, we need to know about the experimental scenario of vision learning. As shown in this figure, you can, we can fully assess the training data set, including image and label. image and label. However, in test time, we have a small number of examples of test image and unseen label during training. The main purpose of fusion learning is to predict the unseen test label. To achieve this, we can utilize the given few test label data as well. Many prior works solved this problem by simulating the test time scenario during training time. The test time scenario means that only few rabbit data set is available. This figure shows the simulated scenario in training time. By mimicking the test time scenario at training time, many fusion running methods show its efficiency. There are some terminologies in fusion learning. The given few examples is called support set. The image or data without label is query set. The episode means the group of query and support set. The training method use, using episode is called episode meta training. If we train a model with the episode, we can apply the same experimental setup in the test time. So far, I introduced the conventional visual learning setup. The characteristics of conventional visual learning are as follows. They are performed in predefined test, and they assume that unseen classes can be in encountered in the test time. This paper proposed a novel fuchsia test called fuchsia learning of test. They do not have any predefined test and assume that unseen test can be encountered in test time. So this figure explains the goal of this paper. At train time, the model is trained to, train to conduct an arbitrary test one. At the test time, unseen test is paired to the model with unseen test to support set. The author wants a model generalizable to unseen test with unseen types of rubber. This is novel and challenging test. To solve the unseen 
dense prediction task in test time, we must have a unified architecture that handle all dense prediction tasks. Because of the unified architecture, we cannot use any prior knowledge for inductive bias for certain intent. We also need flexible and efficient methods to address diverse semantics of unseen intent. For example, depth estimation requires understanding the overall semantic understanding in an image, but edge detection needs a local semantic understanding. At the same time, the flexible and efficient method should be parameter efficient to present overfitting to few support sets. There are two points to note. The first two is how could they generate a label for us in depth? Can we generate depth label when the model is trained on segmentation, 2D key point and 3D key point? The second is how could they address diverse tests using a unified model with minimal parameter switching? This figure shows the overall architecture of visual token matching, which is proposed in this paper. The visual token matching is composed of input data, image encoder, lab encoder, and matching module, and lastly, label decoder. I will explain the each component in following slide. Input data is episode training of test. The data is labeled data set of training test. For the image encoder, they use VIT architecture. For the parameter, they use the initialized parameter from pre-trained bait. Because bait is trained using self-supervised approach, they argue that bait is less biased towards specific tests. The image encoder produces the tokenized representation of image patches. In the image encoder, there are task-specific parameters with minimal parameters. Inspired by bias tuning, which propose a parameter efficient finding method. They fine tune the bias term of, ray of rayer norm and also bias term of linear rayer in multi head attention. The library encoder is also VIT architecture. Unlike the image encoder, the library encoder is trained from scratch and the library encoder is is shared across tasks. The next component is matching module. Matching module is consists of multi-header attention layer. The support image, uh, support image token, support to rabbit token, and query image token is paired to the matching module and the matching module output the query rabbit token. The value equation is a mathematical form of the matching module. Given query and support image tokens, they measure the similarity using scaled the product of tension, sigma. Then multiply the support rabbit token, the product. The summation means the weight combination. The output is query rabbit token. In summary, the query rabbit token is obtained by weight combination of support rabbit tokens. And the weight is measured using similarity between support and query image tokens. Finally, the label decoder receives the query label tokens and predict query label. The label decoder is trained from scratch and shared across tasks. The label decoder combines the query 
combine the multi-hierarchical query rabbit tokens and predict query rabbit. The architecture is multi-scale decoder architecture. Visual token matching is trained with Ravel dataset of trained data. They follow the standard episoding beta training protocol. In train time, given diverse tasks, they randomly sample the task data set and compose epi compose episode with support set and query image. And measure the loss between predicted rubber and ground truth query rubber. They use cross entropy loss or L1 loss depending on the test. The task specific parameter is adjusted depending on each test. In test time, they use a small number of support set, typically 10 shots. Using the few support set, they fine tune, fine -tune the task specific parameter and predict query rubber of unseen test. For evaluation, they use task nomi data set that contains diverse rabbits of vision tasks. Given 10 vision tasks, they randomly sample a train task and two test tasks, which is called hold. For a qualitative quantitative reason, they use fully supervised method as upper bound. The fully supervised method is trained on the test tasks. The other competitor, competitor is the implementation of original method for future running of tasks, tasks. Visual token matching show comparable results compared to the fully supervised model using only tension. Qualitative results show that the cross-post method can generate proper query rabbits in unseen tasks. As the number of shards increase, cross-post method shows comparable or superior performance than fully supervised method. In conclusion, the visual token matching present or uh, present or over future result of task. They propose efficient and effective method, and they solve the future of task using weight combination or and task specific parameter. And their method show notable future task performance. Thank you.